WordPress load testing helps you precisely determine how much traffic your hosting provider can handle. Most people use a service like PageSpeed Insights to learn about their website's performance. However, these tools don't paint a full picture. That's because you're only testing page speeds at one point in time, and the tests only use one user agent. Every server has a finite number of resources. The system will use some of them to fulfill requests when someone visits your website. The fewer resources your server has, the faster they'll run out if you start getting a lot of traffic in a small window of time. Simply put, WordPress load testing enables you to see how your server reacts when you put it under pressure. A load or stress test will simulate multiple user agents navigating your website. Then whichever tool you use will measure how your server responds during that process. Ideally, your server should hold firm and maintain similar page loading times even as the number of users increases. If loading and response times vary dramatically, this data can point toward a poorly optimized website or server. One of our favorite tools for WordPress stress testing is Loader.io. The platform is from the same team as the SendGrid email marketing service and it offers a free plan that enables you to run tests with up to 10,000 concurrent users. If you're running a stress test for a regular website or online store, your server should be able to handle a moderate number of users in a small window of time. In our experience, testing for 15 users in a one minute window will reveal a lot about your server's performance. That might seem like a low number. However, 15 users per minute equates to 21,600 visits per day and more than 600,000 per month. It also happens to be the minimum metrics that Loader.io will accept for a stress test. You'll wanna review two key metrics with WordPress load testing. The first is how long it takes on average for users to load the testing page. For the second benchmark, you'll wanna verify if any of the connections timed out. The average response should be as low as possible. On average, a website should never take more than two seconds to load. After you cross that line, your bounce rate will start to go up dramatically. Therefore, anything less than one second is a stellar loading time. You'll also want to look at the response time graph when considering the average. Ideally, the load times should hold relatively steady across the entire test. If there are too many spikes, it means that your server has problems processing requests. Even if some loading times are fast, these peaks translate to poor optimization. Timeouts usually start to occur when your server is under too heavy a load. In that scenario, the server will begin to drop user requests as they time out. If you feel up to it, you can continue to run stress tests with increasing users over a longer period. This method will return more accurate results. However, if your WordPress web host is holding strong with one minute stress tests, that means that it offers fantastic performance. If your WordPress website is struggling under a moderate stress test, we recommend taking steps to optimize it. This includes using a caching plugin, optimizing your WordPress database, utilize a CDN, remove unused plugins and themes, use WordPress minification, enable gzip compression, and optimize your images and video files. We have videos on most of these topics on our YouTube channel. If you're still getting poor results after optimization, it points to a problem with your hosting plan. At that point, you could choose to upgrade your subscription to handle more traffic or migrate to a better web host. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.